Meta has cooked and cooked a big time. They have just released the newest generation of their Llama model family, which is Llama 4. There are three models in this family, Llama Scout, Llama Maverick and Llama Behemoth. Out of these three, only two have been released, which is Scout and Maverick. There is some information available about their biggest and boldest model, which is Behemoth. In this video, I am going to compare all these three models from various perspectives and I will also give you a detailed analysis of these models and towards the end, I am also going to tell you about my pick out of these three on the basis of the information available. Beware, this is not a hands-on video. If you are looking for a thorough testing of these models and also the local installation, just go to my channel and search with Llama 4 and you should be able to find these two videos which I did around an hour ago where you can see the thorough testing of these models on various benchmarks including text, images and video. And you will also find the instruction in the second video as how to get this installed locally on your system and then try it out with images and text. But for the purpose of this video, I am just going to go and tell you what exactly these models are. So these models are designed to do things like answering questions based on images, handling very long documents for detailed summaries, solving complex coding problems and even assisting users in multiple languages. So it means they are multimodal, multilingual models. Meta developed three key versions within this series. As I said, Llama 4 Scout, which is a model tailored to process extremely large amount of context up to 10 million tokens. Then we have Llama 4 Maverick, which offers excellent multimodal performance at a balanced cost and features 128 specialized mini models within that is known as Expert and Llama 4 Behemoth, which is a huge scale advanced model currently still in training and that has been built to set benchmark standards and serve as a teacher for training smaller models. Maybe DeepSeek could also get their next model trained from that Llama 4. Well, who knows? And Scout and Maverick are already available on Hugging Face, which you can check out and download. And we already have covered it here in these videos. So next up, all of these models are mixture of expert model, which means that these are not dense model. They activate only certain subset or experts out of full parameters each time the model runs. For example, Llama 4 Maverick has 128 of these experts, but for each token processed only a few are activated. This reduces computational needs, makes them cheaper and faster to run and let them scale to bigger sizes without huge cost. Now let's check out the comparison of these models on various parameters and benchmarks. This first table is a general overview. So you can see Scout has fewer experts, just 16 in total, but a significantly larger context window of 10 million tokens, making it ideal for tasks involving long documents or logs. Maverick features a very long mixture of expert layout of 128 experts. That balances performance, multimodal understanding, and inference efficiency. Behemoth serves as a very large scale teaching model currently surpassing industry leading models like GPT 4.5, Gemini 2 Pro on STEM and reasoning tasks. Then comes training and efficiency. Scout was trained over more tokens like 40 trillion that requires roughly double training time and emitted more greenhouse gases compared to Maverick by the way. Maverick is more efficient in training resources consumption due to fewer training tokens and optimized architecture, even though it contains more total parameters. And as far as I know, the behemoth has around 2 trillion parameters. It's a huge model. Benchmarking is quite interesting. So if you look at this table, behemoth of course leads notably in performance across major benchmarks, which are coding, reasoning, general knowledge, multimodal reasoning test, followed by Maverick with Scout coming last as expected due to its contextual rather than strictly performance focused design. 
and then look at this comparative advantage. So here, the Maverick model performs strongly in multimodal reasoning tasks, including Math Vista, which is visual math problem, Chart QA, and Doc VQA, outperforming Gemini 2 Flash and GPT 40. On Live Code Batch, which is a coding challenge, Maverick is competitive with DeepSeq V3.1 and significantly ahead of Gemini and GPT 40 with a far superior cost performance ratio compared to GPT 40. If you look at this table, this gives you a long context performance. Scout's standout feature is its exceptional effectiveness in extremely long context benchmark tests such as MTOP which evaluates whether a model can maintain useful information over lengthy inputs such as half full books. It clearly surpasses other models like Gemini Flashlight and Mistral due to its uniquely massive 10 million token capability, whereas these competitors max out of around 128k tokens as per the information available from Meta at the moment. Now the conclusion, but before I give you the conclusion, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. So the conclusion, who is the winner? What do you think? Well, in conclusion, I believe Llama 4 Scout is a go-to model for extremely long context multimodal task. Llama 4 Maverick provides a strong blend of efficiency and multimodal capabilities and competitive cost. And Llama 4 Behemoth, the large scale model still in training is setting up top level benchmarks across various performance areas, greatly exceeding prior generation models from Meta and competitors in tasks involving complex reasoning, multilingualism and STEM fields. So if you ask me, I would say that at the moment, I would select Scout for small to medium sized enterprises for very complex tasks around coding and stuff. I might go with Maverick. And if I'm looking for a teacher model just to train other models, then whenever Behemoth is released, I will go for it. So you can say that maybe at this point in time, Scout is my go to model. But I'm very keen to hear your thoughts on it. As I mentioned in this video, you can go to meta.ai and few other sites and test these out. And if you're interested, you can also check out the testing which I did. And I'm sure that you will also have some tests to run of your own. But please share your thoughts on these models in your in the comments as they are always very valuable. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.